What's up guys, DBJ is here and in this video we're gonna talk about the 400 meters hurdles race and we're gonna watch some of the semi-finals and the world championships in 2019 in Doha where is Carsten Warholm as well as some other great athletes and in this video we're gonna talk about some basic questions like how many steps are you supposed to take in between the hurdles, how is your uh, posture supposed to be, how are you supposed to attack the hurdle and all of these aspects gonna yeah have a result or have an impact of your final time so let's hop into the video all right guys we're gonna start with the first race um in the first race i'm gonna just show it to you very quickly in lane four we have carsten warholm and in lane three we have campbell who is a german athlete um yeah and i would say we're just gonna watch through the whole race once and afterwards we're gonna go on the technical aspect it's in seven Six. they're cleanly away Varholm usually makes a very, very fast start, and he's done so again here. He's up on Veyant. TJ Holmes has gone out really fast, third from the left-hand side as you look at it there. Varholm leading now with the Frenchman battling to stay with him. Now the stagger begins to unfold. Lahulu running well for Algeria. And Veyant has got a little bit of work to do here. It's only the first two guaranteed a passage through. Varholm looks confident here. That's a good snapped lead leg. Lahulu's running really well to put TJ Holmes under pressure. What a story this would be for the Algerian. Varholm easing up on the line. Lahulu takes... All right, beautiful semi-final of uh, Carsten Varholm in yeah in doha 2019 just impressive to see how easy he is running this event all right guys let's jump into the technical analysis of this video um as i did it already in the 400 meters uh, analysis and the open 400 of michael johnson the video is linked right here sectioned the race into three different sections um the start the middle part and uh, the end so and in this video i would like to do exactly the same we're going to start with this uh, we're going to start with the start obviously <laughs> And uh, then we're gonna, yeah, continue with the middle part and the finish. Let's check out Carsten Warholm's start. We're just gonna focus on this, um, yeah, on this lane, and we're gonna watch it to the third hurdle. So he is going out pretty aggressively, actually. That's that's very fast what he's doing. All right, yeah, now we are already in the middle part. Okay, so these are the th first three hurdles. So what, what, what do we see? We see a pretty aggressive start with one, two, three, four, 20 steps to the first hurdle. Yeah, how is he attacking the hurdle? It's basically the start when you see the first hurdle to the start. Yeah, he's getting out of the blocks. He's building up momentum. You want to basically do exactly the same what you do at the 400 meters race. You want to stay relaxed. You want to just build up the momentum, but you do not want to waste too much energy in the start. You're still going to need the energy at the end of the race. So yeah, this is just um, a phase or a section where you, where you want to accelerate and where you just want to hit your maximum speed but i do not mean your actual maximum speed i just mean the maximum speed of the race so pretty easy he's tall already he's attacking the hurdle aiming for the hurdle and yeah just take some faster last steps but on the other side i also want to mention in practice these guys like Austin warm and also all of the other athletes um in the other lanes they are practicing how many steps they are taking in between the hurdles so it's not like they are going into a race and don't know how many steps they take they try to follow um, a certain pattern every single race and they are basically just practicing for they are developing this pattern and to just become better in it and yeah just master your own pattern basically you have a certain amount of steps so what you want to practice is definitely uh, the, that you are able to bring the certain amount of steps in between the hurdles that you feel comfortable with it and um, he is doing 14 steps middle part you basically just want to hold the speed you you build up in the start yeah you just want to continue racing you want to feel comfortable you still have 200 meters more um, to go also you just want to chill and build up uh, stay with the momentum so, and in this time, when Carsten Warholm, um, or when you hit like the seventh hurdle of the race, you're gonna come into the ending part and the last part of the 400 meters race. What you're supposed to do there is just still be able to hold your 14 step patterns. 
like about these steps what Carsten Warren is taking. So he's taking 20 steps to the first hurdle and 14 steps to the second hurdle. So he is also in between taking 14 steps in between the hurdles. Um, this is not like required. You can one in you can take 22 steps to the first hurdle. You can also take 25. It's it doesn't matter. Just what feels comfortable for you and what you are. Um, yeah, what you are capable of doing. You just need to be able to do it. So, and in between the hurdles, it also doesn't matter. You can take, if you're able to take 14 steps, that's awesome, that's great. But if not, then take 16, 17, 15, whatever, whatever feels lands for you. Let's enter the last part of the race. In the last part of the race, very important thing, you still want to be able to hold the amount of steps. So the goal in the 400 meters hurdles race is basically to just hold the step pattern throughout the whole race. Then you're gonna be fast. Yeah, entering the last part of the hurdles, just continuing, just staying tall and smooth. And yeah, you see at Carsten Warham's face that he doesn't, he's not cramped or anything. He doesn't, his face is not like cramping up and he's trying to just yeah, finish it. No, he stays smooth, he stays easy, and yeah, he just brings it home. That's basically the whole um, analysis of a 400 meters race. So, what did we learn in this video? We learned that we wanna like save our energy throughout the whole race or till the end. You, of course, you're supposed to blast it all out at the last 50 meters if you want to. On the other side, my personal experiences are the more easy, the more relaxed you stay, the faster you're gonna be. Yeah, another thing we learned is that we are having set step patterns. So he's, Carsten Warren is taking 20 steps to the first hurdle and uh, 14 in between the hurdles. May vary at the end. However, in this race, I think he came through it in 14 steps. Um, and another thing is just we want to be comfortable. That's important. When we see these world athletes, they are awesome idols and wonderful to watch at, but we don't necessarily need to compare ourselves with them. We can maybe try to copy them um, in some ways, but not try to be them. Um, yeah, that's the whole video. That's the whole analysis about the Frankfurt Meters Hurdles race. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you stayed with me till the end. Um, and yeah, I hope that you are having fun in practice and that you get the results soon that you want to have. So let's see us in the next video and let's, working, let's keep working together.